Hey, what's up? What's going on, you guys? This is Madam Lady One. I'm coming back to you again. Um, this is a story about an NYPD officer. Uh, she plotted to kill her husband. Um, the title of the article um, from the New York Post, I believe, uh, it says Twisted Motive Behind the Alleged Murder for Hire Plot That Rocked the NYPD. And this article is by Stephanie Pogones, Georgette Roberts, and Christina. I'm not even going to um, butcher that woman's last name. Uh, all due apologies. Um, the person in question that we're talking about, her name is Valerie Centinelli. Uh, she is a NYPD officer. Um... The article starts off, it says, uh, he once owned a bakery, but nothing seems sweet about this sugar daddy. One of the men at the center of the murder for hire plot that has rocked the NYPD is a bald-headed tracksuit wearing accused felon whose Orange County bakery was a hangout for TV tough guys. Tony Lip and Vince <clears throat> Vincent uh, Pastor of the Sopranos. Um, that's the TV show that used to run. Um, the blue eyed Bronx born John uh, DeRuba, age 54, last of Howard Beach, Queens, uh, is the much older and much and off women, excuse me, the much older on and off lover of the disgraced officer Valerie Centinelli, age 34, a married mom of two who on Saturday spent her first full day behind bars in the, Brook in the Brooklyn Metropolitan Detention Center. The feds said Friday that she plotted with her boyfriend who multiple sources have told the post Deruba to kill Isaiah Carvello. I, I apologize if I butchered that last name, age 32. The estranged husband who had sued to divorce her last year and with whom she has a young son. Still more shocking was the intent intended second target the feds allege the boyfriend's 15 year old daughter wow deruba has a daughter who is exactly the same age according to records and sources she is getting in the way she is getting in the way a source told the post of Cincinnati's twisted alleged motive to kill a young girl instead of carrying out the twisted plan the boyfriend wore a wire for the feds. Court papers allege. Did you know? Did you do it yet? Centinelli was caught on tape asking the boyfriend after giving him seven thousand dollars in gold coins to pay a hitman, who was actually an FBI agent, according to the court papers. Run her the f over, she alleged snarled at the girl uh, yes yeah, snarled up the girl neither the girl nor Carvello was harmed thank goodness instead on Friday the feds clinched their case by allegedly having the boyfriend show Centinelli a stage photo of her husband appearing dead in his car court paper said her response, she coolly mused aloud about what her alibi would be if she were to be questioned by the feds alleged. Chillingly, in March 2018, Sentinelli alleged, allegedly threatened Deruba, telling him, I hope your daughter dies, according to documents from a now sealed 
Queen's criminal case. Ooh. Sentinelli was accused of calling DeRuba on the phone in violation of an order of protection from Queen's Family Court and was arrested for second degree aggravated harassment and criminal contempt in the first degree, the outlet reported at the time. You've ruined my life. You'll see what happens to you, she allegedly shouted. According to documents, you better keep your mouth shut. I hope your daughter dies. Well, that is so mean. Um, it says Daruba has an open felony grant law, grand larceny case in Manhattan, and his rap sheet includes a 2008 plea deal for Bergen County, New Jersey, on a charge of receiving stolen property. Record show. The Y Warren. Bill paid Sentinelli bills and call payments, sources told the Post. But even as he dated the still married Sentinelli, DeRuba had invited a steady stream of ladies, lady friends up to his second floor and third bedroom apartment overlooking the Howard, the Howard Beach Shell Bank Bastion, his former landlord said Saturday. He used to tell a lot of people this was his. Wait a minute. He used to tell a lot of people this was his house when he moved in. He told me he wasn't a movie star. I didn't believe him. Excuse me. He told me he was a movie star. I didn't believe him, the landlord said. Sentinelli's dad, Lou, insisted Saturday at his daughter's. Oceanside home that DeRuba was the real culprit. He's just about put the words in her mouth and recorded what he wanted when he wanted, the angry dad said Saturday. I think it I think it will all end up boiling out in the water and coming clean. The guy is a psycho. He is a nut. And it says the additional reporting by Ruth uh, Weiss, Weissman, uh, Ali Griffin, and Laura Italiano. And that is that for that story. Um, actually, let me go back up because it was another side to it as well. Um, we're going to do this. And it is says, this one says... Uh, NYPD cop Valerie Sentinelli held without bail an alleged murder for hire plot. An NYPD cop was ordered held, ordered held without bail on Friday in an alleged murder for hire targeting her estranged husband, her estranged husband and her boyfriend's daughter. Valerie Sentinelli, who wore a maroon pink sweatshirt from Victoria's Secret and neon green sweatpants, sobbed softly during the appearance in the Central Issa Federal Court. Federal prosecutors argued there was a serious risk that Sentinelli, age 34, posed a danger to the community. She was arrested on a Friday morning at the after a police officer went to her Long, Long Island home and pretended to notify her that her estranged husband, Isaiah Carlabello Jr., was dead, according to a law enforcement source familiar with the matter. Several FBI agents spent about 90 minutes searching the home and one left carrying a cardboard box. A man also walked out carrying a sledgehammer and pry bar and that is it for that article well both of those articles um the lady valerie sentinelli uh officer of the law uh she wanted her husband and her boyfriend's daughter out the way um it just goes to show you, you know, it, it doesn't matter if you 
you know, you put on the uniform and supposed to protect and serve. Uh, it's still, you know, personal issues that people deal with. They're still people. Um, there's nothing extraordinary about them except for the job field that they chose to um, go into. But at the core, they're still human. Um, some people, they don't, uh, you know, it just doesn't work out. You know, but it's not a reason to uh, actually hire someone to murder you, <laughs> murder someone. Uh, you know, it's just easier and better to just walk away uh, from a marriage or, you know, go through the divorce and things of that nature and just let it be. But, you know, that's just my opinion. And, you know, I would like to hear your opinion. So, um, Please leave a comment, subscribe, and share. I will be coming up with more content. I will be coming out with more things. As always, I thank you for every person that has commented, every person that has liked, and every person that has disliked. All is most welcomed and appreciated. Until then, you guys, I am Madam81, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.